Hello, and welcome to the backyard, where I'm going to do something today that most human beings alive have never seen. Me cleaning something. I'm going to clean this grill and try to get it back to some semblance of what it used to look like. So if you just want to see the cleaning products I'm going to use and how I'm going to go about doing this, then you need to flip to the next chapter. Because first I'm going to tell a story because I always start my videos with a story. So skip ahead if you want to watch me clean. Stay here if you want to hear my sad story about why I don't clean and how this grill got into such sorry shape. First about the cleaning. I had a mother who took care of everything and picked up after me and I never learned proper cleaning procedures or anything about cleaning. When I went to college, I would have girlfriends who would take pity on me and clean my place. And I, I worked that for a while until I couldn't get girlfriends anymore. Then I started paying people. Quick story, when I was in grad school, did not have a girlfriend, did not have the money to pay for somebody. So my, my apartment got really dirty. And finally I broke down. I asked a woman who was the cleaning lady for some friends of mine if she would come clean my apartment. And she did. And she did a phenomenal job and charged me quite a lot of money. But as she was leaving, she turned around and looked at me and said, don't you ever call me again. <laughs> so <laughs> never called her again. And then I went on to get a job and, you know, be able to pay people to clean. Back to this grill. How did it get so nasty? Well, most of you are probably saying, because you don't have a cover on it. And that's right, I don't have a cover on it. Why don't I have a cover on it is the question. Now, when I bought the grill eight years ago, when I got the house, I bought a cover. And I kept it covered and, you know, which I, I don't know if any of you have had a grill like this with the side things, but it makes, the cover is really, really big. So I have this huge cover, which was a bear to wrestle on and off. Plus, like over the winter and with the, it, it, it started rotting. So I had to buy another cover. Well, this one lasted for at least a year or two, a season or two, but then animals started like wanted to live up inside it because it was warm in there. I was over visiting my good friend and fantastic grill master, Owen Kendrick the late Owen Kendrick, may he rest in peace. And I noticed that he didn't have a cover on his grill. And I said, Owen, you don't have a cover on your grill. And he said, it's stainless steel. It'll be fine. So I came home, took off my cover, and this is the result. <laughs> Turns out, Stainless doesn't mean stainless. It refers to the process by which it's made. It can still rust. And so what you see all along here, and I, and I, I will have some B-roll where I run the camera around and show you all the rust spots. And I finally decided, look, I need to do something about this because this looks terrible. So I went and did my research. And on Amazon, Bayes Stainless Steel Barbecue Cleaner and Protectant. I went, ooh, protect it. That means maybe it'll keep it from getting this bad again. So I tried this. Yeah, it's it doesn't do rust. It doesn't say anything on here about rust. It doesn't say it won't do rust, but it doesn't say it will do rust. This doesn't gonna work. So I went and did my research. So I went on Amazon and got me highly, highly reviewed Clean My Steel Rust Remover. Safely removes rust and corrosion from stainless steel, copper, and aluminum. Help prevent stains works in minutes. I went great. Oh, and it comes in a kit, so you also get cleaner and protectant, which is basically this is what the base stuff is. And if you skipped over that part, this is the base cleaner that I talked about at the story that you probably skipped. But this is that part. But you need the rust cleaner. Now, it's serious rust cleaner. How do I know this? Because it comes with gloves and has all these warnings. Do not get it on your skin. Do not get it in your eyes. Don't touch your, oh, it just goes on and on. So apparently it's quite a bad thing. But now I am going to use it. So now I'm going to put on the gloves and try this stuff out. And fun, they're little tiny gloves for like, I guess one size fits all. Well, I have big hands. So this is not pleasant for me. So now I've got gloves and sponge. 
I'm going to start here, right here, on this on this part, which has a lot of rust stains on it. Shake well. I don't know if you can see this, but it's working somewhat. It is working. It's working, as I think you can see maybe on camera, maybe not. But it takes a lot of elbow grease, and I'm, I'm going to have to scrub, scrub, scrub. So we're going to go away for a minute, or 20, and I'll come back when I've gotten most of the rust off. A little longer than a few minutes later. 30 minutes later, it's not clean. I mean, it's cleaner. It got off a lot of the rust, but my arm was getting tired from all the scrubbing and those little flimsy gloves were breaking. So my first advice is if you go with this solution, you might want to get your own rubber gloves that aren't so flimsy because like I said, these broke apart. Now, I was going to put the protectant on that came with the, with the Clean My Steel, but it's add two parts and then water and dilute, and, and I'm just too tired. So I'm going to do phase two with the Bayes Home Care Stainless Steel Barbecue Cleaner and Protectant and go over it, and then I will take the camera around up close because this you don't need to dilute you just spray it on and then wipe it off and I happen to have a lot Costco sells these towels real cheap they're in the automotive section they're mainly for oh well apparently once the one thing has loosened up the rust start a little more of the rust is coming off with this because I got I guess I got it loosened up with the with the hard stuff but of course the objective here with this product is not just the cleaning but protecting so that maybe this winter it will not end up looking so ugly at the end of the winter. It is by no means clean, but it is much cleaner than it was. And you can see there's still, there's still some rust, minor rust stains on there. The front, again, especially down at the bottom, which is where most, you know, where the water accumulates. But look at those front doors. Those look a lot better. This side looks a lot better. The top, way better verdict is the clean my steel got a lot of the rust off not all of it it doesn't look new but of course it doesn't look like it's been sitting out here for eight years anyway maybe one year so we'll call it it got seven years of rust off of there and dirt and then I put down the layer of the base, the protectant, which hopefully will keep sealed the surface enough that it doesn't get real dirty this winter. And then in the spring, when it's time to break the grill out again, I'll clean it again. This time I'll go out and buy my own rubber gloves so that I don't have to worry. My finger poked through one of them. I, they weren't a lot of protection, but the product works as advertised mostly. I mean, it doesn't say it'll make it look like new and it doesn't, but it looks way better. So I give this a qualified thumbs up to clean my steel rust remover. And I'll have to come back and talk about the bays like in the spring when I clean it again, I can tell you how well the bays protected it. Not a lot of entertainment for you, unless you like watching an old man huff and puff, but 
I got something done that I've been meaning to do for a long time and I never would have done except, well, I can get a video out of it. Well, then I'll do it because <laughs> that's how YouTubers think. Oh, if I can get a video, yeah, I'll do that. So I got a video out of it. Not a very good video, but again, qualified recommendation on all these products. They they work fairly well. I mean, it got most of the rust off. Well, you, well, you saw, I'll put the before and after side by side so you can see the difference. But I'm pretty impressed. By the way, I think it would have done better, especially the, the rust remover, if I hadn't gotten tired after half an hour and just said, screw this, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm going to go to step two. If I had spent like a, probably another half hour on step one, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Again, come back, subscribe so you can come back in the spring and I'll do another one of these and update it and see how things are going. So that's it for now. See you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.